Hey guys, it's B Run, and it is Thursday night, which is Children of Vector hacking night, and that's right now, and we're gonna do it. So, how you guys doing? We have a few things to go over today, which is gonna be good. Um, we're gonna be diving into the level editor, which is nice and pretty because it's got graphics and things, and so it won't be quite as dry as digging through code. Um, <laughs> for, those, for those of you who uh, may have um, not followed up after last week's stream, I figured out what I was doing wrong with the magic, or I'm sorry, with the magic, with the uh, songs, with the expanded spell it or song list. Um, I was using the wrong song ID, and it's a very, very silly mistake for me to make, but I was supposed to be using um, the first song as hex 5.5 five instead of hex 5.6 and so I was picking a song that didn't exist and that's why it didn't play anything. So we could have solved our, saved ourselves a lot of time. But that's okay. Because that's what this is. This is live and this is what you signed up for. <coughs> Personally, I think you're crazy, but hey, by all means, to each your own. So anyway, I'm just going to touch on real quick the things that we worked on um, I worked on over the week. Let's see who we got. We got Mad Seer, and we got Lock Kirby, and we got Dastern and Zatris in here. Very cool. I don't know who else is in the chat. <coughs> um, I can't see until you say something. But, uh, <coughs> so yeah. Let's so talk it up, guys. I want to hear about you. How is your week? Tell me what has transpired in your life in the last week. I'm going to start talking about mine right now. I had to rebuild my entire stinking ROM, um, <coughs> but for a good reason. Umatsu's here. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. So I had to go back to this date. I had to go back to this date and reapply everything else. Um, for the rest of the way, because that's when I started making map edits, and that's when my ROM started to run into problems. So, um, apparently I used too much space, and it started um, giving me errors. But it was saving, and the stuff that I was doing was working. So I was like, okay, cool, we'll just work with this, we'll roll with it, I'll fix whatever's, you know, whatever else there is later. Well... I got to doing some stuff. I was about to get into my first time doing some level edits since um, coming back into the hacking scene. And I blew up my ROM. And I had no idea what was going on. As soon as I tried to do the save, the the, the, um, the level editor, I didn't even have to make any changes. I just loaded the level editor and then hit save ROM and it would kill my game. And I had no idea why. <coughs> hey lady, how you doing? Thank you for joining my chat. I've been fixing up the authentication for the web app at work. Okay, cool. What kind of web app? Is it like a like a community thing for your job, or is it like a productivity thing, or what kind of thing is that? <coughs> that would be really cool if uh, Ibuo was here. But I'm afraid, I'm afraid that's not possible. And if he was, I would probably be getting a, um, a cease and desist. <laughs> um, so anyway, so I had some issues and I got in touch with Mads here, who is the um, leading expert on the map stuff. And um, he was able to help me get some... Uh, work out some expansion stuff so that I don't keep running into those problems, which is really cool. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure you've told me what kind of uh, what kind of place you work for in the past, but I've totally forgotten. <coughs> That's cool. That's actually pretty similar to what Dastern does. Um. Yeah. So. We definitely attract a type here on the hacking stream, don't we? Weird. Anyway, so, got in touch with Mads here. He helped me start working on some expansion 
for my ROM and uh, including the map data so that when I was saving stuff it wasn't getting too big and either chopping stuff off at the end or covering up something up something else up whatever else so I worked with all the data he gave me and um, started doing this so all this right here is where the maps get loaded um, and this is actually a load to the pointer to or this this right here is a loader that loads the pointer and then the pointer goes to the data <clears throat> yes you did tell me about that lock Kirby okay yeah that is super cool that is super cool I wish I had one of those on my car and um, I could at any point turn any of my windows into me holding up the middle finger it's too much work to do it myself so if someone's driving by me plus it could be like a close-up version you know like just right there so they like come up zoom past me and just flip a switch and pops up with an image of me flicking them off <clears throat> So anyway, but back to things that are real, like hacking, things that I can actually do. So I relocated the NPCs, which are called in about a million places, and you also have to offset the pointer va or the value to the list to the pointers. Same thing for the small exits, and luckily the event squares. Um, come right before the NPC so as soon as you move the NPCs to another location it frees up a bunch of space for the event square so I didn't have to do that one which is really nice so I've got I think roughly double the space for each of those um, which hopefully I won't I won't get close to using up but if it does become a thing it can be expanded further in the future map data so I've got I, I set aside a bunch of space for map data <coughs> because I'm gonna be doing all sorts of stuff and I don't know how quickly I'm gonna fill it up so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna set aside a bunch of space and do what I can with it plus um, I have thoughts of expanding the location data so the difference between the location and the maps is each location gets the map data for each of its different layers and we'll get into that in a second I'll show you that on the level editor and so the maps themselves get loaded in you know are, are selected from a location so the location grabs every different element of whatever place you go. So the location has the data for, okay, use this map, use this song, use this encounter set, use these NPCs, use these exits. Okay, so that's that's what that's what the location data is. And um, I think that's the last thing that really needs to be expanded in order to have in full map expansion. And from the little bit of research that I've done, um, we should be able to um, increase it by about 100 lo locations. We can increase it from what is currently um, 416 locations to about 511, or 512, but zero is the first one. <coughs> yeah, man, something to market. I bet you get a lot of business if you marketed that. Like custom messages to people on the road, it doesn't even have to be that. It could be like one, like, get off my bumper, or I don't know. <coughs> but use your imagination. <laughs> so the map data was, was definitely a pain to definitely a pain to do. So I got through all that. I was like, okay, I should be good now. This is before I rebuilt my ROM. I just I, I did the expansion. I was like, okay, maybe this will just fix the issues. I go in, I use the new version of level editor that, that Mad Seer got for me and it still doesn't run. I'm like, oh crap. Okay, I thought I was just done. I had ruined something too bad. I didn't know what. So I went back to when it wasn't blowing everything up and I started reapplying my updates, just incrementally, just trying to find out where it was. Um, and every time I did a map update, when I tried to use a level editor, it would blow up. So I had to go back and make sure I did no map changes. Everything else I had to do, um, either with like a patch and then I would chop out parts of the, the code. I got through all of that and got to the very end and still blowing up on me. I had like, I just could not, I, I got to the end and I just couldn't get, it just couldn't get going. 
And what I found out was that it was actually the custom splash screen that I did last week or two weeks ago or whatever that was. The extra space for um, for some of the map data is in the same is goes to the F1 bank from the old level editor and the base lo level editor that anyone else is using right now saves to F1, which is the same location that the data for or the code for the custom splash screen. So when I launch when I launch Children of Vector and you see this, the code that makes that happen appears in F1. And so what I had was I had that there and the level editor would all of a sudden try to put a bunch of map data on top of it and it would it would kill the um, the splash screen. And so it would go into there to try to load it up and you just see a bunch of gibberish because it's data. It's not, it wasn't the code anymore. And it would never load. But I had to go all the way back to like way back in the beginning and do all my changes again to figure out that that's what was happening because I didn't know it was saving an F1. I didn't know that the splash screen was an F1, which I should have. That was a really bad choice for me to do all that without checking where it was actually putting all the stuff. So, so now I've gone back, I've done all my stuff again, and I know what each little chunk of code in my whole ROM is. So that makes me really happy. That makes me really happy. I've got no more mess. Everything's clean, everything's compartmentalized. I got it where I want it, how I want it, who I want it. Okay? <coughs> yeah, that's okay. That's okay, Mad. Um, trust me, I'm going to help you uh, play test that. <laughs> we will we will get it worked out. We will get it worked out. It seems to it seems to be working so far. Um, I think the last thing I need, yeah, it took me all weekend to fix, all weekend long, and that's a three day weekend. It was Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I spent basically basically the whole time that um <coughs> that I wasn't doing something else like with my family, I was trying to get this working. And so it was an escapade, but it, but we got it. We got it. It's working. I'm back up to speed. I'm ready to go. Time for new stuff, new map stuff, which is exciting, but it's also new and kind of scary. <coughs> so I'm making a brand new dungeon map. Um, and it's going to be a mountainous dungeon because instead of going through the cave, as some of you may remember from the um, opening section of Children of Vector, L'Oreal is not too happy about caves. Remember, no more caves, never caves again. <coughs> well, as it turns out, the way to South Figaro is through a cave. And uh, she's not going to like that very much. So we're going to actually take a longer route over the top of the mountains. Children left starving in the corner. What? What in the world are you talking about? Did... Did you just send us a piece of a conversation that has nothing to do with what we're talking about? <laughs> I have no idea what that is. I must have said something. Am I not paying attention to what I'm saying? Hello? No, I think I know what I'm saying. I'm not talking gibberish, am I? I don't know. It's it's pretty likely actually. It's not entirely impossible. Oh, oh, gotcha. Delay, gotcha. No, no, I did not let my children starve. I actually played with them quite a bit. <coughs> so, so Tisk. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, yeah. Delay. It'll always be a thing. Anyway. Um, so the expanded music, I got that working. And I'm going to let you guys hear it because um, the song that I added is amazing. It is like my favorite song of all time. And I did little map edits to... Uh... I'm only going to hear it a little bit. I don't want it to get doubled on the mic, so let me know if that's doubling for you, if it's too loud, or you know, whatever. This song is so good. I had to rearrange some tracks to make it sound a little better in battle. And it's actually pretty close to the um, to the original 
MP3. Like, when I came up with this section, I had this song in mind. <coughs> and it took me forever. It took forever to get it to make this a reality. It makes me so happy. Sometimes I literally just turn this on while I'm at work with my headphones, and I just leave it sitting right here. Poor L'Oreal. <laughs> Poor L'Oreal stuck in that ritual for probably hours. Because I discovered that if the song doesn't end on its own like it does with the MP3, I'll just let it keep looping and looping and looping. So, I got it working. Everything we were doing was right, I was just using the wrong stinking song ID. But that's alright. I almost don't want to, like, turn it off. Oh well. But I'm going to. But I'm going to. Alright. Um, expanded that, and then other minor edits, blah blah blah. <clears throat> alright. Um, let's look over here. Let me just real quick make sure there's nothing else really of note. Um, I did add a new L'Oreal Sprite. But we'll use that later. Change the color of Blitz. Yeah. Expanded dialogue patch, which I hadn't done before because there was a bunch of stuff in F0 that I had no idea where it came from, which also, I think, came from a level editor. But that's all moved to a different location now. And moved my expanded sprites. So yeah, so, so nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. It was actually kind of a kind of a boring week as far as like before and after. <coughs> it was a lot of work for me, but... All right, so tonight we're gonna start working on Figaro Pass, which is the new map. L'Oreal's Trance ability, um, I'm getting some new leads on that. I still think I can um, set it to run off of like a uh, monster battle script, which would be way more ideal. And it means I could use like some actual, actual like real AI without having to do a ton of extra coding. Um, but I might also dabble in working on advance. It's basically going to be replacing morph. I already went back a while ago and I took the morph, um, changing sprite out of it. And so, um, what I'd like to do with that, what it, essentially what it is, it's going to increase your physical damage dealt and taken. And basically all it is, is it's going to be like moving forward another row. Okay, so I want to try to give some, um, give some more merit to physical damage so that magic doesn't completely run it over. And I hope I don't swing too far in the other direction. So I, I'll do, I'll do most of the balancing for this kind of stuff later, but I want to add some more physical options. And so there's going to be this status that's advance, and I'm going to actually display it by just sliding forward again. And it'll be auto-canceled if you try to um, move to the back row. And so what it'll do is it'll just move you back twice if you go if you do row. And so that'll be the way to get out of advance. <coughs> Other than getting, like, oomped. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. So, um, so that's, that's something else I'd like to, to, to work on and, um, maybe tinker around with some blitz ideas for Vargas, try to do some skill editing. I've got a few, I've got the first couple, I think a good idea for what I want to do with them. Um, it'll just be a matter of finding good animations for it. Um, so I, we could, that is, that is a good idea, Zatris. And, um, I'm trying to decide whether I would like to do it for all party members um, or actually only make it for himself and have a couple other people only do it for themselves. And so that was like, okay, well, these are like the really physical characters. But I don't know. We'll see. Well, <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I've got a lot of ideas for how to... Um, how to work in the balancing, but some of them are like really out there and I don't want to change the game too much. And so I want to make all the changes I do look natural. And so something like, like advance, like moving forward again, already puts an idea in your head for what you think is going to happen without changing the way you understand the game, you know? <laughs> so. Well, no, it'd be an attack plus plus some um, plus advance it wouldn't just be advance
Also, I might speed Guts up just a hair. But we'll see. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Um, I'm going to get started here. Uh, and I kind of have an idea for how I want to do this. I'll pull this down here so you guys can see that a little better. Not that you need to see that really at all, but... Children of Vector. Come on. Come on, levels. Alright, hopefully with the streaming and the recording, this does not... Um get really crazy on me and not work properly. <coughs> That's an interesting idea. Um, but I was thinking about shifting the physical, the, the, I was thinking about shifting the physical formula a little bit or making um, level less important in all forms, which would actually affect physical a little bit more, I guess. Um, but I'm going to add a lot more physical options. So I don't know. I don't know. We will see. We will see. But then, you know what? That is something I can really tackle, like, a year from now. It is not imperative to me making the game, because this is primarily a story hack, and there's a ton of eventing to do, which has nothing to do with battle mechanics. So, all that stuff can can actually be worked out later. It's just an idea I've got in my head while I'm trying to sort out abilities. I was thinking about giving Vargas an ability that um, gave him advance in addition to doing an attack. But, uh... And maybe Wedge also, I don't know. I don't know. So we're going to get into other things. Dun, dun. Um, where am I going? I'm going to Cave to South Figaro. Um, entrance. So this is what this looks like. So this map, this map um, does have one nice thing going for it. And that is that um, basically the entire map exists on layer one. And so that'll make things a little bit easier. But I actually need to look at... Um, another thing I want to look at is the Leet, um, is the Leet River. Because I, th I was thinking about adding some streams to this. So i got to figure out exactly what I want to do. But what my plan is, is they're going to have a short scene in front of the cave. And then I'll move it elsewhere for the actual... Um, for the actual whatever. And um, my plan is just to basically just draw what the path I want them to walk is without worrying about how things look aesthetically and then start filling in the details around that. No, I know. I'm exactly the same way. Like, it, it, I, <coughs> my problem, though, is I get too into it and then it, like, paralyzes me and I can't get anything else done. Which is why I have to, like, every once in a while just... Just set it aside and do something simpler. So, man, I am not entirely sure how to start with this. Um, I don't know how much of this to make a single map, too. I mean, I don't need to worry about this too much because this is never going to appear again so long as nothing else I go to is within camera range of any of this. Because for the one thing that they do here, I can just lock the camera. And so I was thinking about starting like down here somewhere and so putting the mask somewhere down here and then basically have them start walking and kind of come around and put a couple other things. You know, that's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, you've done a little bit of... I mean, I know you did the... Um, I know you did the, the World of Balance. Maybe both of them. You did the world maps for um, 
Return of the Dark Sorcerer, didn't you? Emma's Paint. Or, uh, as we affectionately call here on the stream, MS Pain. So my idea here, um, let's use something, can I use something a little bit larger? There we go. So my idea here is the first map is like the cliff side where we're going to have some of the um, we're going to have some of the, the background in it and then we're going to move to a place that's more internal like the screen that Vargas is on which you'll see is actually different tiles or is a different different tile sets um, so this here layer 1 and layer 2 actually are very similar so maybe it's the same tile set for both of them. But it allows you to do a little bit more stuff because things like this here... Oh, actually, that, not even that there. I don't know, then. I don't know. It'd be nice to have some internal thing because the idea is that they're going to be going over the mountains, but it's going to be kind of like through the mountains. And so I kind of like it being a little bit enclosed. Um, and slightly windy, but it's going to be an old uh, traversed path that people used to use before the caves were in place. Um, and so I want to make it traversable. I don't want it to be like I, I don't want it to be like this in the sense that it's narrow and you have to turn every two seconds because that would just be frustrating and hard um, and stupid. So I want to make it traversable, but still make it look a little bit enclosed. But this will be basically the second area. Um, and then I'll have a few like drop-offs that they have to hop over or something. Um, but I'm not entirely sure exactly like... So one thing I want to do. Let's just start doing things so that... One thing I want to do is um, very early on in the map, I'm going to have up here like a treasure chest. And so the main path will continue on, and there'll just be a little thing right here, and a dot right, and a dot. Oh, come on. What in the world? I don't know. Look at a little, look at a little pyre right there. Like, um, like, uh, in a lot of things. <laughs> so basically, the party will come up, and they'll see a treasure chest, and on the same screen, they'll see a little, you know, a little stone that comes up, but there's, you know, there's like a drop off or whatever, and a little path going up. And so the idea is that they'll go up there and then they'll hop, hop, and they'll see that they can get to the chest. And so that's opening up the idea that, okay, I need to be looking out for these things because there's going to be more of it. And so the next one, I'll also make more or less obvious um, further on down the path. And maybe it'll just be a little bit longer. Or something like that. And then maybe I'll have one or two that are um, more hidden. You kind of have to find <coughs> and see the little stones or you know whatever they're called to jump across <coughs> and so i'd kind of like make, like to make that kind of the mechanic it's really basic really simple this is a super early dungeon we don't need anything too complicated um but since we're avoiding caves i can't go in and out of caves and so i need something to vary up the experience i think this little hopping mechanic off of the main path because again this is a traversed road or used to be a traversed ra road um these little jumps need to be off the main path Um, so that's kind of, that's kind of one thing I had going for it. I'm not sure how high to make it. I guess if we're going through the mountains, it doesn't have to actually be that high, which might save me a little bit of time. But other than just like jumping in and drawing like a random path, like, okay, they're going to go like this and they're going to go like this and then they're going to go like this. I don't know what to do with it and then try to fill in stuff around that. But like, okay, so if you're going like on a mountain road, so let's, um... Start figuring this out. And guys, please speak up, like, with actual opinions here. I think there's, there's got to be a bigger one of these. How do I... Oh, size. That's what I was looking for. That's still super tiny. Final Fantasy for the after... Oh, I never played that, actually. The after years. 
Is that really the biggest one I got? That is so annoying. Uh, we're going to fill. You're kidding. Oh, this is terrible. No, color two. Use this one. Fine, 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 fine. Of course it's not going to work. This is dumb. I'm just going to change colors. <laughs> I'm just going to change colors. I'm going to use blue now. I'm going to go back to the pencil. I'm going to use a fat pencil. I'm not going to use the stupid brush thing. I'm just going to use a regular old pen, but in humongous. Or pen? I wish these were bigger. All right, just a regular old thing, but big. Why do these all look so terrible? I just want just a solid stinking color. Ugh, why are you trying to be fancy, MS Payne? You are not. Whatever, I can make that work. All right, so go around, go over, have a little thing right here with the treasure chest, and then boop, and then boop. Well, you know, that's something that we're fixing. With the expanded maps, when you do stuff... Oh, the expanded dialogue goes in F-Zero now, yeah. But that's not, you know, that's not going to continue being a problem. In fact, the newer map editors save it to F-1, which conflicts with the splash screen, <laughs> instead of F-Zero. I know, right? Windows 95. I know, I just want, like, a regular... Oh, wait. If I just leave it like this, though, it didn't... It's not very big. It's too tiny. That's all right. I'll use the big paintbrush. I don't care. Raw. This is very... Oh, and it wears off, too. How messed up is that? I get why they do that, but it's... They're just... we. This is what we're doing tonight, guys. All right. All right. We're going to clean this. New. No. no, don't save. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink this a lot. And I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to shrink this down. And zoom in another time. All right, that's what we're going to do. This is how we do it. All right, pencil, humongor, and that. All right, so start at the map. Let's start at the map. They'll come up. They'll do a thing. Be a little guy over here, and that a little there. Go like that, and like that. Okay? That is like the one thing I've got an idea for. Windows Emmy. Do you still have that? Do you still have the original L'Oreal Sprite? She had blonde hair. All right. All right. So, um, this shouldn't be, like, terribly long, but longer than the caves, at least for the first section. There's actually, it's actually going to be split up into two parts with a thing in the middle that I don't know if I'm going to do on stream or not. Um... So what is like a mountain what does like a mountain road look like? Like if you have a mountain road, you normally I mean you normally have things for you going up a mountain kind of like this and not spiraling but like going back and forth so that you're only working on a certain kind of slope. And so maybe the early parts of this dungeon should involve a little bit of weave, but I wouldn't do it more than like once or twice, you know? Like maybe we could start and go like this and then come up and again, all of this is actually going to be a lot thicker than, like, the character. <laughs> because I want it to... I, I, I don't want it to be difficult to move around in, but I also want it to be, like, not super boring. Kind of interesting to look at. You know? Well, there's also just the eraser. Basically, you make like a big rectangle. So that's 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 a good idea. 
So we could have this, we could have something like this for like the initial getting some height. And maybe the first one of these I could actually put down here so that it's kind of in the middle of that. So this would be more or less plain. Like if these are our walls, that more or less plain. Um, we can make a second one of these, which is like, goes up here for a treasure chest or something. And I could make my first one right here. I don't know, something, something like that. So we'll have the first treasure chest little thing, like, okay, this is a tutorial for how this dungeon is going to work. And then another one that's a little bit more rewarding. Probably not exactly like that, but um, something kind of like that. And then meanwhile, we'll start heading over to the second portion of the map. Okay, make that look good. We'll put the mountainside like that, so that way there's the... Um, there's like the clouds and everything out here. Um, and then by the time they move on to the next map, we're not going to see like the edge anymore. You know, they're going to be like basically in the mountains. They're not going to be close to the top of the mountains. They're going to be like in the mountains. And then um, hopefully throw in a couple like ravines or whatever else. And that, that, that might be good for the first for the first uh for the first section there especially since we're using you know the lower space down here already for for one thing yeah the the one thing though just the one thing i'm trying to avoid is using caves for the same reason that they're not going in caves you know the figaro cave yeah no no dead ends if there's something, it is out to get like a treasure chest and then back. Um, maybe hypothetically, I could throw in um, one thing where the path is blocked and they have to go around an obstacle by using, you know, one of these mechanics. But it would be um, not like a huge thing. Again, it's going to be pretty linear, just not in a straight line. Linear as in one path to follow. Yikes. Yeah. No, um... We're avoiding it because L'Oreal doesn't like caves. And also, we need this section to be a little bit longer. Because we bump into our, um... Our The Party Splits Up in, um, in a different location. You know, we're not following the same path as the original party. Even though the very beginning of the game kind of looks like it. Um, we're actually going to kind of go in a different direction. And so, um this dungeon needs to be a more major section than just the little Figaro cave that you walk through in vanilla. So that's actually not a bad, that's actually not a bad little sketch up for, um, for the first section. And I can embellish, I can embellish that. That shouldn't be too terribly difficult. Um, I'm hoping I don't find my, in fact, you know what, let's, let's actually, let's actually start doing some of that and see what that looks like practically. All right, so let's go back to Cave to South Figaro, Entrance. And it doesn't matter which one really I edit because um, all of the maps, and so this is kind of what I was talking about before. If I change one thing here, any of the other maps that are the same, and obviously not the cave, silly. Um, it's gonna use the same map. And the only thing that would be different would be like the tile sets or the you know the different layers or something like that. So you see this looks actually looks exactly the same. It has a different like background layer. Um, but this is all the same and the difference is the mask um, and then what's loaded into it like exits and stuff like that. So it doesn't matter which one of these I edit, it'll actually all edit the same one, which is I believe the tile map. Right, tile set is which you know. This is the mountain tile set, and then the um, the tile map is this particular, this exact configuration of it. And so, cave to South Figaro entrance, tile map two A, yeah, and layer two is two B, which is the um, if I hide layer A. 
it's the you know the mountain background which is really cool looking so I'd like to have it in there but I'm not gonna show it more than I think the first the first part yeah it'll probably be a, it'll probably be a little bit like Mount Colt size <clears throat> probably Mount Colt size for the first half and then the second half will be shorter one way or another you know something like that all right so this part actually needs to be preserved um, does anyone know how big the I think does I think the camera takes up about about this much space actually let's look because I need to I kind of need to know how far away I need to be from the rest of this in fact all that stuff I did before I actually might be able to do like right here right because I went this way and then this way and then this well no my plan is to start right about here and then kind of go like this and then over here and then up and then over that looks like a lot of space um and we can do a test we can do a test for it oh that is really helpful um visible bounds mask battle zones oh thank you oh that is so helpful yeah and see how I can't move this any further it's because the mask on this one is set up with this in the, as the corner so all of this technically exists and all of that is out of bounds okay and so actually that's one thing I actually need to fix thank you and I don't really need to worry about the battle zones I can worry about that later um, and so that is actually back on layers and the mask so I'm actually gonna remove basically the mask entirely right um, well not entirely I'm gonna keep it in line with this so my um, so this one's gonna stay 56 actually where's this where, where's it got me right now all right that's pretty good so the same same mask there actually you know what uh, I have to go over a little oh they're right so if I have to go over a little bit I should actually have that over there all right so that, that's pretty good for right now um, and if that's the screen I don't want them walking over that way so so the farthest over I can go is really like right here and what I should do is have it load somewhere like right there ish all right, this is super helpful um so 30 in fact uh what did i say the farthest over i could go still be on the map is 31 31 until i'm up above here okay all right i can work with that i can work with that all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start drawing like a crude walking path and then we will go from there um, I'm pretty sure is it still a thing where I need to delete stuff before I write new stuff does that actually affect um, what gets saved on the layer especially this one considering this is all layer one um, hopefully it would just overwrite but um, I don't know Matt if you're still around can you uh, do you know if that is a thing or not or do I need to actually erase this before I um, do that to avoid wasting space. All right, we're gonna turn that off. Let me go ahead and start erasing things. I'm on layer one, right? All right, so let's start erasing all this. Da, 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 da. And I said the farthest over I could go was 31, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a line there so I know, and then I'll fill out the rest of that stuff later. And I should do the same thing this way. So I can't get any lower than 34 here as my walking tile. So I'm gonna make a line for 34 around there. All right, so 31, 31, 34 is my corner. So as long as I make this my farthest walking point, then I'm okay 
and then fill out the rest of that. All right. All right. I would really like to have some sort of rocks in there as a reference. Um, this side, since that's the direction I'm going, I'm actually going to have to fill all that up with rock. All right. So let's uh, let's see what that process looks like. Why does that look different? Okay. All right. All right. All right. Is there a way to, like, delete a bunch of stuff at once? It's fine. It's fine. You know what? I will do the meticulous process. And you know what? Most of this is probably in a pattern anyway. And I will just have to take the time to learn how that pattern works. Okay, and I'll fill that out. Because the bottom of the screen is actually right there. All of this could technically be blank if I wanted it to be. All right, so, so yeah. That actually looks like that's gonna be a lot of walking just for this. Because characters are only take up two of these little squares. So that's gonna be all for the first, for all for the first map. So I definitely need to break that up with more than just random encounters. All right. Um, what is just my regular grass? Oh, shoot. There's multiple ones. Oh, geez. That's right. It, it, all of this is basically a pattern for me. It shows me what the pattern for the grass is. So I will I will go back and checker all that appropriately later. Okay, that yeah, those are all like corners. Man, if I do this and it looks good, I'm gonna be super super impressed. I better get good at this. There are gonna be a lot of other things to make in this game. Oh man, but this will probably be one of the more tedious ones. All right. So they're going to start kind of on a wider section. And I want them to come up and go out and then kind of come up and over. I do something like this. As long as I'm not walking beyond this point, I should be good. Score. I'm actually kind of jealous. That's okay. That's okay. Um, maybe I'll do that first little thing like right here. So they see, you know, as soon as they come in, they're going to see a little treasure chest here. There are treasure chests outside, right? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Um, and this is my line here. I don't want to hop down. That's going to look really awkward. So maybe I should have it hop over. Like that. So you just come up and then boop, boop. And then treasure chest, which is in here somewhere. Bing. You know, maybe that's not going to be too bad. Maybe... Maybe this will be doable. I mean, this looks like a lot, but in, you know, on um, uh, Mount Colts, you're changing, you're changing screens almost constantly. Uh, let's do a quick, oh wait, hold on. Yeah, I understand. I'm not doing anything right now, actually. Um... How do I set a starting point for the um, for the map? So if I go C emulation SNES. 
Um, judgment of vector. Wait, what am? Where? What is it looking for? An exe file. Why does it need an exe file? Wouldn't it need a one of these? Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, the ZSNSW. That's uh, back here, I think. All right. And it's, is it creating a preview ROM for me or it wants me to make one? SNS editors, map editors, preview ROM.SMC. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Um, real quick here. SNS, and I'll just grab a copy of my ROM, that's fine. It doesn't need to be a blank ROM. SNS, editors, map editors, new folder, what is it supposed to be called? Oh no, just preview ROM, never mind. Preview ROM, bam. All right, enter area. Oh. Okay, so I need to add an exit if I'm gonna do that. It's all right, I can work with that. In fact, this exit's not actually gonna be there anyway, so, and it goes to that exact location. So let me just unselect this and drag this guy over. Wait, where was it? Shoot, where's my mask? Okay, good. This is at what? 56? Bam. Oh, you know what? The exit that comes in is gonna say, it's gonna tell it where to go though, not this. So if I actually would have to go back and change the entrance on the map side, to show 3855. Yeah, 38. 38.55. Okay, I can work with that. That's fine. That's fine. Out of balance. And that guy right there. Exits. And we're going to 38, uh, 54. Sure, I'll, I'll take your word for it on the Y. Okay, there we go. All right, so now, um, cave to South Figaro entrance. So now it should actually drop me in right there if I did that right. So level preview from world of balance world map launch. All right, let's see if this works. Yeah, run. Yeah, skip this part. Just take me into the... Uh, That, what what is this doing? That's not the thing. Uh okay, what's happening here? What's it supposed to do? Maybe now that there's a All right, someone tell me what I did wrong there. Why did that uh not load me up? Oh, is that the way that works? It probably actually told me that. Ah, okay. All right, I'll do that. Oops. Is it there? Uh, it doesn't look like there's a thing there. No, unable to load state. Okay, hold on. Are you gonna give me? All 
Um, I don't have an event. Assemble for preview. Yeah, I don't know. Let me see if it makes any difference if I do something like that. Maybe I should just use a default ROM, like a, a blank ROM rather than one of mine. I don't see why that would make a difference. I really wanted to test to see what that felt like to run. All right, let me let me grab a blank ROM just in case it needs to be unedited. I don't see why it would need to do that. Unmodified with the header. All right, so get you preview ROM. Okay. All right. Let's go back to here. I don't know. Yes, run. Unable to load. Yeah, it starts up. Unable to load save state because there isn't one. All right, so maybe that's something that um, Mad needs to fix for me. I don't know. I don't know. That's not what I want. It's supposed to be one of these. Erase. Okay. I see that. I'll definitely reshape all of this. I'm just trying to work up a path, a movement path. Let's go ahead and um, layer one, delete. Let's go ahead and clear some more space here. I don't know why all this stuff is in all a whole bunch of um, a whole bunch of things. I hope that's not like crossing over into another thing or something like the the compressed data. I don't know, but I sure hope not. That's a good start, and then I'll just go over like this, and it'll, the next one will be a much tighter turn, I think. And let's just erase all this, all this, all this, all this, all this, all this. All right. Um, let's switch to this. I'm on a, one of those. I'll leave myself one extra space there for, uh, not that it matters that much here, but if I, as long as I get down to, you know, as long as I'm running here, it doesn't show any of this, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, I'm in good shape. Okay. This one's yeah, it's gonna be a lot tighter. Probably well, probably not quite that tight. But pretty tight. Well, yeah, we uh, we trying to drew out some stuff. Oh, hey, Matt, do you have a uh, do you do you know why this doesn't work? Unable to load state zero. It's not. It's not creating a save state. In order to preview the map. Anyway, um. Yeah, so the next portion. 
Uh, come on. Eraser. This is a part. And maybe I'll leave this up here as, like, um, just visually, like, not actually put something up there. But just have, like, oh, look, a cave, but it won't be somewhere you can actually go. And make this the side of the cliff here, all the way down that way. I kind of only want, like, a hint of cliff. Um, but I do think adding a... You know what that is? That's supposed to be the... Um, that is supposed to be the... What you call it? Um, it's probably only because it's this map that that doesn't look right, actually. There's probably a different tile set where that becomes... Um, where that becomes a bridge. So I might want to know that. Because a bridge would be kind of nice. Oh well. Da -da 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 -da. All right. And we'll draw, and we'll try to leave most of this for aesthetics, and then have something with the treasure chest. And I've got that. So this one will probably be a little bit thinner. And I'll, like, nudge all this around, like, up and down one tile just to give it some, like, texture, basically. You know, like, it might dip down somewhere here and then get narrow again. You know, something like that. And then make my, um... My exit. Actually, where does my mask stop here? I've got that right there. Which means I should be able to make the exit for the next zone over here. No problem. Or I could do a bridge. Yeah, I don't have a... Uh, I guess I don't have the stuff for the bridge. Because I bet if I change the tile set, that turns into a bridge. I don't know. Alright, so it's probably as far as that needs to go, right? Because that's where I did my... I'll do one more tile after that and put the exit in that space. So exits... Do I get two long exits per... Uh, I don't know. I can probably have as many as I want, I guess. So... Be vertical... And where are you currently? You're up here. Let's grab this, put it down here. And then... Nope, that's not the right one. Oh wait, that's where it drops you. Um, length. There we go. So something like that for the first portion of the map. The treasure chest there. I'll probably have another thing. In fact, maybe... Oh, maybe this right here. I could even leave the bridge. Or take it out, since I want to do, like, that spire thing. Do I have something where I could make a spire-looking thing? That actually needs to be something I can see. Like, I want that to look like there's an edge of the cliff, but then something coming up behind it, and that'll be the thing that you jump across. And then I want to seal that up. I don't want to borrow too much from the existing maps, but uh, but yeah, it can be handy. All right, so what does it do when it comes down over here? See how it's just like definitely got a pattern going over here. So I might want to copy that so that I can cover that up. So where is that over here? Like I want to I want to get rid of that cave, but I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put my second treasure chest over here for this section of the map. First things first. 
drop that. And then that. Um, so in order to delete that, let's make it um, like that. Okay, so I'm going to use these bottom ones down here. Let's see if I can't do something that looks good. Is there a way to zoom in? I don't know that there's a way to do that. That's definitely not right. Let's try one that's got a little bit more meat on it. Ah, this doesn't look too bad. I'll have to see up close. Wow, it seems like I've got a lot of delay. The stuff that you get that you're responding to feels like it was like three minutes ago. So tell me how that's doing. When you send a message, how long is it taking for you to see it pop up on here? Oh, I'm going to need to close that up, and I'll create like a little thing popping up here to bop, bop, jump across. All right, so that first one worked. Um, and then one with definitely less on it here. Okay, so far that doesn't look bad. I don't think it looks bad. I'll have to tell, I, I won't be able to tell one until I get in. So I guess the good thing about doing the map edits is that since everything is in a pattern over here, it's pretty easy to fill it in over here. Like that doesn't seem, that doesn't seem too out of place. And I, when I go in and look at it in the actual map, So that's not too bad. <coughs> so long as I can make the things look like things. Um, that one I should get rid of though. In fact, maybe I'll have this come up and go over here. Like there could be like a jump and then up here and then a jump jump or something. Cause this is what? One. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. 14 seconds. Okay. All right. That's not too bad. No, no, that's, 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 that's not bad. I'm not that worried about that. Get rid of all these. Layer two still looks good back there, right? Okay. This whole thing right here, it's just going to be a couple things to jump across. So I have to um, I'll have to redo those two edges and then put a thing behind it. So how do we make that bottom section of the cliff? That's like these, isn't it? Of course, if I've got my stuff here, um. Man, I'm worried that this is like super long. That's gonna feel like a really long stretch. Does anyone have any ideas for how I can break that up? I mean, I don't want it to just be walking for stinking ever, um, but we're avoiding screen changes for, at least we're not avoiding screen changes themselves, but we're avoiding caves. So if anyone has a good idea how to make this less boring, would be nice. Falling rocks is a little too extreme for this early a dungeon. Plus, that would all—I guess that would be event stuff. That's going to be up here. That's this is the second chest up here. So there'll be a little offshoot either here or here, where they'll go up, and then they're going to jump across something over here to get to the second chest. So the first chest is up here, jump, jump, and then back, and then up here will be the second one. 
I mean, I could have the second path split up here, but I kind of want to leave a lot of this for aesthetics. At least a lot of that. I, actually, I might pull this in a bit so that I can have more... Um, so I can have a little more mountainside. That's actually not a bad idea. I would like that to be kind of a sharp turn, but... Um, but it might just be better to run it a little shorter. Something like that. But still, that's a long way to walk in one direction, not really doing anything. I thought of, I thought about that. I thought about that. Um, but I'm going to spend a lot of time on the next map. That would, I mean, I guess I could do that. It would, <coughs> but it's not like a mountain. It's, we're like going into a mountain range, and the next several screens, I guess. Next, I guess I, I don't know how many screens it's going to be, but probably maybe two more maps like this. Um, but hopefully, broken up. Maybe more physical obstacles like rocks and stuff in the path. I mean that you have to walk around just a little bit, but. But yeah, I did think about that, walking around the back side of the mountain. That's actually not a bad idea. If instead of doing that, I go over here and have a map change. And then have them come back. And then have them pop out up here. And then go over. That's actually a good idea. I think I might do that. I think I might do that. So instead, they're going to go over here to the ledge. And they'll basically walk out the walk behind. That's a good idea. And so this actually won't be connected. But you'll see it up there. But you're going across here. And then what we'll do is we'll go back behind the mountain there. And then we'll come back up here. And so that means I need to fill this guy in too. And then we'll have this come down. So watch. Nope, nope, nope. Do it. Do the thing. Do the thing. Alright, am I on the still right draw square? So then we'll have this come down instead. Which means covering that guy up. Which means I need to find... What's that little square? So, oh, there's a selector tool too, isn't there? Like if I click on that, does it show me over here? No. There's a there's a tool, like a picker. Select tiles. That's not the thing. Uh. All right, well, never mind on that. I thought if I double clicked on it or something, it was bringing me over here. That's fine. That's, um, I think that square. I think that's what that is, which means the next logical one would be this right there. That does not look at all. that like if I do ah okay there we go okay good so I was right about that tile which means the next tile over should be that means the next tile over should be that bam Door gone. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I thought I tried that for some reason, but apparently, no. Apparently, I did not. All right. Well, cool. This is a start. Take that door. <laughs> yeah, I know, right?
<laughs> All right. Yeah, so they're gonna, so they're gonna come in here. They'll have a brief little scene here, and then it'll fade to black, and then it'll fade back up here. Um, and then maybe we could have them say something. I don't know, just to get us started. But basically, it's gonna load up the map and let you loose here. You'll come up. This is right here in the path. That's not really an issue. Um, this stretch, maybe I'll add a couple rocks, and I'll, I'll obviously make it look a little bit different. Um, and then you go up back behind the mountain, and then I'll do something for the other side that basically goes around and comes up. And it, maybe that'll just be like a small section, and then you'll pop back out over here, and then come down. There'll be the treasure chest over here, and then over there, and then we'll move on to the second the second part of the map. So I think I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. That's a that's a good start. It is a good start. Um, I'm only down to 15 minutes, so maybe I should just keep cranking on this rather than um, looking into anything else, really. I don't really have time to get into the other things. They both involve Hex, which, as we know, takes a while. All right. Like over here. Well, maybe I could just have a um, like maybe we'll have the scene over here, and then we'll have some. Then we'll have it fade in over here, and then they can say something along the lines of, "Hey, this is an old. This looks like some old dilapidated path or something like that." Um, let's see if it takes us. I don't know. And then they could go up, and so maybe I could make a break in the road right here, and then have like one little thing where you pop up, and then you jump across over here. like where it breaks down on either side. Oh, uh, Matt, also, if you're still in here, do you know if I still need to, um, if I still need to erase things before I write? Or can I just write over top of stuff and it won't use any extra space or anything or just stay, still save properly? Is that a thing? So that was a bit much, and then we'll go up there. Yeah, that's not what we ended up using, but that was pretty good. So, la, na, 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 na. I have to start on a second part of this map. Huh. Is there. If there was a broken spot right here, it wouldn't look very much like mountain, though. Okay, so 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 I can just over right on top of some of this stuff, and it's not going to cause issues. Okay, that's helpful. All right, so what I think I need, the thing is, all of these go to the background. Okay, and that's my background. So if I did something like that, it would look like there's space there. So I have to do something else to make it look broken up. Like here it makes sense because it's like, you know, towards the top area. Hmm. I don't know. I will have to, uh, I'll have to fiddle with that. I'll have to fiddle with that. I'll have to figure out exactly what I want to do. I'm also a little bit worried that these might look not very tall. Like when you're going through Mount Colts, you're going through a lot of caves and it's easy to believe that you're just gaining height the whole time. And so it's a little bit of time before you actually see something like this. Whereas this, we're walking in, we weave up and all of a sudden we're, you know, we're at the side of the mountain and then there's like another break right here, which makes you think, okay, well this mountain is probably not any taller than, you know, not much taller than that for that one 
little area that we walked. So I don't know. Now all of this, technically, is still, like, that's as high as you're getting. So as long as I have that, yes, as long as, like, this is as high as they're walking here, that can look like the side. So if I make the next part a little bit bigger, then coming up here shouldn't be, well, because you were down here, you kind of know that this is really close to each other. But I can, you know, if you break it up, though, in the player's head, that's actually not going to look out of place. I'm okay with that. I can work with that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to save this. It's going to feel really weird. You know, I, actually, if I save it, I can just go to it, and we can see what it looks like to run around in it. Right? Right? That's a thing. Alright, let's go look at this, um, and then we'll probably wrap it up there. Alright. Wait, did I hit save ROM? There we go. Alright, I should have... I should have something that's... outside. Oh, why did it resize? Oh, man. It resized my um my options. Config video. Let's do that one. Wait. Windowed. I don't know what S what's S and DS. I don't know what those are. Oh wait, custom 10 bytes. No, I don't want to use that. Forget that. There we go. All right, be careful not to run in anything else. All right, so they'll come up here. Yeah, and they can already see that. Do like a brief thing here. No! Dang it, I'm moving. Uh, it's the lag input I get from, or the input lag and stuff I get from doing that. Let's so come up over here. So this is kind of a stretch here. Oh, you know, you can only really see that. That's actually not bad. If I keep it relatively close to this, there's no way to tell for sure that that is the same place that you walk on the other side. And the idea is we'll come over here and we're going to see the edge of the mountain, you know, of the mountain range or whatever. But we don't need to see much more than that. Yeah. It's weird how that's exactly what it looks like in the level editor. I thought that was just kind of like how they designated the space in the level editor, but that is literally what it looks like when there's nothing there. Huh. That's, that's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought that was going to look a lot... I thought that was going to be a lot worse. This actually isn't that long. Now... The one thing I am a little bit worried about, still, is the fact that I'm using up a lot of map space really quickly, which makes it feel like less, which doesn't bother me from like gameplay perspective, but where it bothers me is the fact that I'm going to, you know, I currently have a limited number of maps, you know, a limit, limited number of maps and locations, and so I don't want to use that up too quickly you know, traversing a whole giant map quickly on here. Now we do, you know, we are going to split it into two pieces, so there's going to be another back half to this, basically, and then they come back up, and then, you know, then they come back to the front half, and then do that second part there, and then they'll go into basically what is the part two of, um, of that section, which I might try to chop both of those into a single section, I don't know. And then they'll they'll um, then they'll move on from there. 
but I definitely need to find more ways to break it up. So I'll be brainstorming that. No, I know. Yeah, exactly. And we're splitting it in two. So that means that means a lot of maps. Um, no, if you think about it, um, you know, Mount Colts had at least two maps to it. And so did, uh, actually Figaro Caves was probably only, was probably only one. So, you know, we're using up a lot really quickly. But what we'll do is we'll get away from, after this dungeon, we'll get away from, um, having to stick to not caves. You know, L'Oreal's gonna have to get over that eventually. Or maybe... I don't know if it would be worthwhile to put the pass at the very beginning where you're just constantly weaving in and out of, like, rocks or something. And we could just have it where you're basically just going out and coming back a couple times. But even that... It's hard. It's hard, because... They emulate both sides of the mountain with um, with Mount Colts. Let's see how many maps they use, so I can so I can figure out how many I can justify using. Real quick, how many maps can I justify using? So if I do Mount Colts Caves, okay, that's one. Two cliffs or exit and that's the same one save point okay so I guess that's technically three they used a whole one just for those space oh, of course they reuse this part later for for that um, Vargas area so we'll call that we'll call that number three right So there's cave, cliffs, Vargas area, bridge. So use the cloud part, but again, it's the same. It's the same tile one map, or you know, um, still the same layer one map. So that's still only three, and the outside and entrance, which are both going to be the same thing. Yeah. So. Um, outside and then Vargas area and then cave so they literally only use so the goal is to only use three maps the goal is to only use three maps so I'll spend some time this week this was actually really good for me. This was actually good for me to learn and uh, get up to speed. And so I hope this wasn't too boring for everyone else. But but this was actually really helpful for me. So I'll be able to work on this, and hopefully next week I'll have something much nicer to show you. <laughs> um, it didn't help that we have this over here that, that is kind of holding us up, because I had to definitely use this for that. Um, what I might do is find a way to weave in and out of the mountain area a couple times. Like maybe, maybe this, instead of going like this, will actually go over and exit into the other area and then come back, you know, and then, you know, re-enter over here and then come back and exit and then come back and re, you know, open over here. And so it'll just be kind of a left and right kind of deal. Um, or I could try to split this into two more sections, like so they had all the cliffs over here, and then they did the the um, you know the uh, the bridge section. So they did all of those things with the map, and basically just those two things. Hmm. So I'll I'll, I'll spend some time on it. This is my first dungeon. I'm actually okay with it being a little bit rough. I actually intend to get our total number of locations expanded. I have ideas. I'm going to work with Matt on it. If he wants to. I guess. <laughs> and then um, and then we'll go from there. <clears throat> All 
All right. Um, so I think that's all we're going to do for tonight. Thank you guys for coming out. And, um, and yeah, we'll see you next week with a more refined map. And, uh, and I'll be on the forums letting you know what it is we're looking forward to next week. But we're going to get some real forward progress going, okay? We're going to get some events. Like, this is the stuff that feels like the game is progressing. And so, so that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. All right. So I will see you guys next week. All right. Be there or be not there. All right. All right. Happy hacking, guys. I will talk to you later. All right. Bye.